Shalom, this is Jima Solid Sit Downs coming back with the lesson. First off and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shabbat Shem Kakadash, the ones to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there, spreading this word of society and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. Gone. This is going to be a quick hit um, going into what we have received and that it's so different from what the world has the mentality the mind state wherewith the world walks around in this life okay Yahweh Hashem Yahshai has given us a different spirit man which that's a spirit that comes from the heavens spirit that comes from above that carries on the wisdom of heaven of the heavenly father okay now when you have certain conversations with these people you're not gonna get on one line with them because they don't have this mind they don't have this mentality when you speak about uh, what's supposed to happen to uh, a bundle of sticks because it's unnatural they don't understand that they they are like why why should they have to die okay because it's the will of the heavenly father this is evil in the sight of the most high and it shouldn't exist okay because look at what happened now since this has all been um, allowed it has only been multiplying man now the heavenly father says what take evil from the midst of Israel uh, that that it uh, roughly paraphrasing is not going to spread that evils do not multiply in the midst of Israel let me grab it real quick multiply I think um, <clears throat> I think uh, Deuteronomy 17 yeah no 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 wait um yeah i think if i go or it's leviticus 17 let me real quick let me go to deuteronomy 17 yeah uh let me see bear with me for a moment mm. Gone. This is Deuteronomy 17 and 7. The hands of the witness shall be first upon him to put him to death, and afterward the hands of all the people, so thou shalt put the evil away from among you. You see? Because if that evil starts spreading, at a certain point the whole nation is going to be corrupted, man. And that's the state where this world is right now. So when we speak spiritually and judge spiritually concerning the state of this world and certain things that are deemed to be normal nowadays, people look at you sideways, man. People look at you like you, you the crazy person. But guess what? We are uh, being led by the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai and the will of the Most High, you know, is, is made known unto us. But unto the world that is not made known. Okay, like the scripture says that um, uh, the, the secrets of the Most High are, are known unto the servants, the prophets, man. Okay, this is uh, Isaiah 55 and 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Okay, now... Of course, we cannot reach the level of the Heavenly Father concerning his thoughts and his mind. We don't know everything, but we look at it spiritual though. Okay, and because we have received this wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the Heavenly Father, the knowledge of the scriptures, we can see the Heavenly Father's characteristics. We can see the Heavenly Father's will. We know that how he um, um, uh, played all this thing out from the beginning even unto the end from Adam what happened with Adam that that was all the will of the Heavenly Father okay this whole life that we live in is a test for us to get to know wickedness and righteousness and appreciate the righteousness in the kingdom even more okay now what lies more be, behind that is that is um, of the Heavenly Father and we cannot reach those things for now but in the kingdom all those things are going to be known but guess what? The, where we go when we die, that there is no hell. Um, what happened in the time of Adam and Eve? Uh, the, the, the age of this, this world. 
These things are known unto us, but guess what? Unto the world, the worldly people, this is all a mystery, man. Okay? So we are on a whole nother level. We are not on the same frequency. So 1 Corinthians chapter 2, let me start at 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Heavenly Father of the Most High. And what is that? The, the wisdom contained in the scriptures. Okay? For now we know in part and we prophesy in part. The part that is given unto us, men, prophets, teachers, apostles, elders, is the part of the Heavenly Father that we receive through the Spirit. Okay? Which that is 100%. But there are certain things hid. Okay? Which are going to come to the light that full understanding of the Heavenly Father and His purposes and His wills and why He did certain things, why He's still doing certain things, okay? Certain things of the heavens, the spiritual realm, okay? Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul, astral projected himself, his spirit left his body and he went into the third, uh, into the third uh, dimension, man, or the fourth dimension. He, he went to the spiritual realm where the Heavenly Father, the angels, Yahweh Shai, the spirits are. Okay, and he said it's not lawful for me to speak about it, man. Okay. But guess what? The inside, the insides and the outsides of all those things, those miracles, those, those mysteries that are upon the earth right now will be revealed, man. When we receive our kingdom, man, under Yahweh Shai. Verse 13, which things also we speak, not in the words of man's wisdom, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. You see, so we bring out this edification by the, by the uh, uh, Holy Spirit, man. Okay, and when something happens unto us, we, we, we look spiritual at it, man. Okay, and I was speaking about this thing yesterday as a matter of fact because um someone asked me if i believe in the zodiac signs and all that crap and um you know uh, these females be busy with tarot cards and all that nonsense you know which which is basically witchcraft and i said no i don't believe in that you know but i do believe that there are spiritual things that can be revealed unto you in in, sm in very small things man okay very small things now there was this person also at the table that was bugging out because of a certain uh, situation and there was this um, this box of, of um, pecan nuts on the table but it had um, it, ha it had um, a cap on it it had like a you know it was covered but the covering popped open like Tuk! and then <laughs> uh, the person that asked me the question and me said at the same time to that person that was bugging, you gotta let go. You see, you gotta let go. When that happened, and that was the exact uh, answer. That, uh, that's the exact thing that I was uh, talking about, man. A spiritual man will look spiritually at certain situations and see that the Heavenly Father is speaking through certain events, man. Okay? Now, our foundation is the scriptures. But, you know, sometimes you can receive certain messages or the most that can easily just lead you towards certain scriptures but sometimes hey the messages come to men through certain things if you are spiritual you will know it okay but people that are not busy with the heavenly father okay even here here walking outside you know i walk outside i, I, I look up to the heavens to see chariots people see me looking up uh, up to the heavens and be like oh, what, what's what's wrong with this guy why is he looking up continually? Because we have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to know that there's more out there than only this wicked piece of shit world, man. Okay? The angels are out there. So we speak about these things, man. We, we, we bring it out to the forefront. We edify people with the spiritual things that we go through, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem and Hashai. Okay? Verse 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high for they are foolishness unto him yeah man people that are busy with this world people that are occupied with what g-string kim kardashian be wearing or what new 
sneakers King Kanye West is bringing out, okay? People that are concerned about those type of things, they are foolishness in the eyes of the Most High, man. The Most High be looking at them like, y'all y'all too far gone, man, okay? But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Now let's look up that word discerned. Spiritually discerned. What does that go into? Anacrino. Okay. It says examine or judge, investigate, examine, inquire, sift, question. Uh, defects of any person to judge or it's like it, to judge of estimate determine the excellence or defects of any person or thing so they don't have that because they are spiritually discerned they don't have the the way of judging spiritual spiritual matters man they don't they don't have that skill because the spirit is not upon them okay now certain people can be spiritual because why they deal with spirits they deal with demons but that is only to a certain extent okay now the natural man is referring to the people that are zombified into this world man extremely zombified into this world you see um but he that is spiritual judges all things yet he himself is judged of no man so here it is in 2022, the prophets of the Lord are out there in the highways and byways judging matters. Judging matters to the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemuel Shai. People got a problem with it. Why? They don't have that knowledge. They don't have the judgment. They don't know what the will of the Creator is. So they look at us, at us strange. Like, why are you even bothering speaking about what another man does? Because the Creator is angry and is about to visit the earth which He made. He sent out the servants, the prophets in these latter days to speak and prophesy what is to come, okay, which is, which is extreme wrath, righteous judgment, fire, okay, now the Heavenly Father gave us a commandment which is to warn the people before he comes, and that's what we do, but neither do they understand that, okay, so a spiritual man judges all things, so in everything he looks for whether it's wrong or uh, wrong or right, good or evil, judgment in uh, for, uh, in wickedness or judgment in righteousness, everything gets judged. Yet he himself is judged of no man. Why? Because he judges himself. He examines himself whether he is doing the right thing for Yahweh Hashem Yashai. But how can a man that does not know the will of Yahweh Hashem Yashai judge anything? He doesn't know the law. A man that goes to a man that goes to um, law school, or no, uh, let me put it like this: a man that becomes a lawyer. How can he judge matters if he doesn't know the law book? That's why these people that become judges or lawyers, you know, they go to law school to learn the law, to study the law, so they can know how to judge matters. Now, a man that does not know Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, he cannot judge matters. Because he doesn't know the, the ultimate judge. He doesn't know his will. He doesn't know his desire. Okay? But us that have received the spirit of the Heavenly Father can see and observe that. And before we see and observe other people, we observe ourselves. That's why uh, Yahusha also said this. Judge not, Matthew 7, verse 1. Judge not that ye be not judged. Okay? Now judge not when? If you are messing up yourself, man. Because this whole chapter, not this whole chapter, but the beginning of this chapter, goes into what? Um, checking out yourself first, man. Why do, let me, let me skip, uh, skip to a, um, a point where it explains it. Um, verse 3, Matthew 7 and 3. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Okay, but if you judge yourself and you see that there is no beam nor moat in your own eye, you are able to tell your brother that he has a moat in his eye or maybe a beam. You can tell the whole world that they got freaking beams in their eyes and that they don't know what is about to come to this place, man, to this world. Fierce judgment is 
about to come to this place. Okay? Verse 16. For who had known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. You see that? And that's what we bring out. That's what we teach. Whether they will hear or forbear. Okay, what do we teach? We teach the things that we have received. Okay. Uh, what is that? First uh, Corinthians 13. Verse 9. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 9. For we know in part and we prophesy in part. But when that which is in which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. Okay, and, and all Israel is going to know the will of the Lord. Nobody has to teach his neighbor in the kingdom. Okay? Nobody is going to have to teach his neighbor. Uh, I believe that's in, uh, in Jeremiah. Uh, yeah, Jeremiah 31, verse 34. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, said Yahweh. For I will forgive their iniquity, and will remember their sin no more. This will be in the kingdom. Everyone is going to know of the Heavenly Father. Everyone is going to worship the Heavenly Father. So, is going to know judgment. Okay? Know how to judge matters. Everyone is going to be able to. But for now, the spiritual man judges all things. And the natural man has not received the, 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 um, the skill of judging matters. Because he doesn't know the law. Like I said, a lawyer cannot judge matters if he has never read the law book or studied the law book. Okay? How can he judge matters? Okay, so people are going to look at you like you're different, man, because you are. We, are. we do not have the spirit of the world. And that's what it says right here. Uh, in the beginning, that's what I started off with. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High. Okay? And with that, we go through life. And with that, we observe things. And with that... We, we check ourselves on what to do and how to walk and how to operate in this bitch-ass kingdom. Okay? Continually. The scripture says, examine thyself daily, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Which if you look up the word prove, it says to, to be deemed worthy, man. You got to be deemed worthy in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay? And you got to examine that yourself. Are you worthy if the, if the kingdom would come now, if Yahweh would come back now, and you look at your works, do you deem them worthy? Are they acceptable in the sight of the Most High? Or not? That's what you got to examine, man. That's what you got to know. Are they acceptable in the eyes of the Most High? If not, you got work to do, my man. We are, on the, we are in the end of the times. 2022 is now here. What are you going to do? The Passover is coming up. Are you going to eat of the Passover? Are you going to eat of the lamb? Then you got to clean up your act, man. Clean up your act. Be an accept, become an acceptable man in the eyes of the Most High. Okay? Become an acceptable man in the eyes of the Most High. Now we have, now we have received not the spirit of the world... But the spirit which, which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High, which is the spirit of understanding. Like it says in First, first John, I think First John 3, uh, let me see, 3 and 19. Uh, yeah, this is, your, this is your duty, man. This is your duty. You got to assure yourselves before the Most High. First John 3 and 19. And hereby we know that we are of this truth and shall assure our hearts before Him. Hereby you know you're walking in the spirit of truth, man. If you are trying to assure yourselves before the Heavenly Father. Now, what does the word assure go into? To try to make friends, man. If you are busy trying to make friends, be friends with the Heavenly Father by, by doing His will. You can look at yourself and see that you are walking in the truth. That you are in the truth. Okay? If you're not busy pleasing the Heavenly Father, you can state that you are not walking in the way of truth, man. 
but in the way of the world, okay? And the most I don't like no lukewarm people, half-ass, half-stepping. So you better check yourself before you wreck yourself, you know? But this is what I wanted. And with this, I'm going to close out John, 1 John 4 and 13. Hereby we know that we dwell in him and he in us because he had given us of his spirit. And we always got to understand and know that without the Heavenly Father, we would not understand this, the scriptures, man. The Most High is very, it's very easy for the Most High to just take that spirit away from you, man. And I ain't talking about the spirit of your, your soul, but the spirit of understanding. This is a gift of the Heavenly Father. You wake up every day knowing these scriptures and understanding these scriptures, but you might wake up one day not, not knowing or not agreeing with them no more, man. That's a fearful thing. You're starting to be a bug out and a scoffer. What happened, man? Rap the news, the ultimate scoffer, he just passed away, man, for, for teaching nonsense. So your Haru Bashim is uh, it's easy for him to just take you out, man. So be humble. Pray, stay prayed up, man. And, you know, y'all are to Zawi out of this bitch soon, man. So with that, I'm going to say, call Allah, y'all are Bashim Yashai, 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 Bashim